All right, you guys. I was able to get it out. What's up, you guys? My name is Jesse, and welcome to my channel. So today we're back with the Cadillac, and we finna be replacing the water pump. Yeah, I know that wasn't in the list, but while I was recording the video on how to maintenance and do a fluid flush on your Cadillac, I noticed coolant leaking from the water pump, and I'm like, ah, oh, great, that's another extra thing that I need to take care of. Not looking forward to doing it, but it needs to get done. I mean, who else is gonna do it for me? Chris Fix? I don't think so. So, I also noticed that there wasn't any videos on how to do this job on YouTube. So, I'm finna bring you guys the first ever video on how to replace a water pump on a 1990 Cadillac DeVille. In hopes that it helps Cadillac owners or any homie out there that's working on the Cadillac. Or maybe I'm like 30 years late with this video. Anyways, let's get to it. Step on the emergency brake pedal to set the parking brakes on. Disconnect the negative battery terminal to prevent the battery from draining. The water pump is located by the serpentine belts and pulleys. Raise the vehicle up on the passenger side with a floor jack and support it on jack stands. To gain better access to the water pump and make the removal procedure smooth, remove the front and rear engine mount nuts, then lift the engine from the oil pan. Make sure to have a 2x4 on the floor jack to protect the pan. Remove the lower radiator hose to drain the coolant. Use an extendo adapters with a 516 socket. Inspect the coolant hose. If it looks worn like this one, it's time to replace it. To gain better access to the water pump bolts, unbolt and swing the AC accumulator up and over the engine. Loosen three 13 millimeter water pump pulley bolts. Once they're loosened, remove the serpentine belt. Use a half inch drive ratchet to relieve the tension on the belt by rotating it clockwise. Then you can remove the water pump pulley bolts by hand. There's different sized bolts that keep the water pump on. Two large Torx head bolts, three 15 millimeter bolts, and the rest are 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Once you're sure all 19 millimeter bolts are removed, you can pull the water pump off by hand. All right, you guys, I was able to get it out. The gasket looks completely worn, and all the bolts were completely loose too. Well, time to clean up and take care of this tomorrow. Use a plastic razor blade and scrape off the old gasket that's on the block. Then use some towels and brake cleaner to clean the surface well. Install the new gasket dry. GM doesn't recommend using RTV sealant. Put all the nuts and bolts back on and hand tighten them down. Then follow the tying sequence and torque specs. This part is very important. You don't want to end up doing this job twice or three times. Torque the T45 heads at 30 foot pounds. Torque the 10 millimeter nuts and bolts at 5 foot pounds. Torque the 15 millimeter bolts at 30 foot pounds. Torque the rest of the bolts at 5 foot pounds. Oh, 
hopefully it doesn't start leaking. Because if it starts leaking, I'm throwing this kettle like away. Fill the radiator with conventional green coolant. If a bolt wasn't properly tightened right, the water pump will immediately leak. If there's no leaks, then put the rest of the things back in the order that you took them off. Start the car and double check for leaks. Forgot to tighten the pulley. <laughs> If everything looks good, let the car idle with the radiator cap off to bleed the air out of the system. Once you see cooling coming out from the radiator like this, install the cap back on, and you're all done. If y'all found this video helpful, hit that like button. Next video on the Caddy will be on how to service and do a fluid flush on the Cadillac. And then the only things we have left to do is engine mounts, shocks, and a wheel alignment. The goal is to get this Cadillac running before Cinco de Mayo so I could be downtown cruising with the homies in the lowriders. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Late.